So I'd like to teach you how to use your story to raise curiosity and to start conversations. See, the number one mistake that people make in this business that leads to failure is they don't talk to enough people. And the second mistake they make is they talk too much to the people that they're talking to. See, in order to have more conversations and to talk to, to more people, you've gotta have a natural way of introducing the subject of Beachbody or health and fitness in general and finding out who's interested. So the key is to raise curiosity. And I'm gonna teach you a couple natural ways of doing that. So uh, one of my coaches, Brian, he came to me and he, he was struggling you know, in the business and he, uh, he well, he was a diamond coach. He, he is a diamond coach. And then he just kind of got busy because he got elected to city council, okay? So he's a, an elected official in his community meeting all kinds of new people. And he was telling me how, he's like, I, I'm just, you know, I meet all these people, but I'm having a hard time like figuring out how to bring up Beachbody. And I gave him this, I said, look, when you're meeting new people, they're probably asking you what you do for a living, right? Because government is just something that he, he volunteers to do, it's a side job. But his main job is he's in sales with a office supply company. So I said, when somebody asks you, hey, what do you do for a living? Tell them this. Well, my main job is, you know, I'm a salesperson for an office supply company, but my passion is helping people lose weight and get in shape, okay? And I said, if they're interested, they're going to ask something about that. They're going to say, well, how does it work? Or, you know, are you a trainer? Or, yeah, I need to do something, right? And so he, the very next day, he tells me, oh my gosh, I have two new leads, um, you know, from my meeting last night. Two people. I, I just told them what I do. My passion is helping people lose weight, get in shape. And it led to great conversations. He hit Success Club last month for the first time in like a year, okay? And he told me again, just two days ago, how this has totally helped change things for him, having that little curiosity razor right up front. When somebody asks you, what do you do for a living? Tell them your main job and then say, but my passion is helping people lose weight and get in shape. Don't say, my passion is, yeah, I'm a trainer or I'm a fitness coach. They'll be like, oh, that's cool. It's kind of like saying, oh, I'm an insurance salesman. You know, people just say, oh, okay. But when you say, what you do and how you benefit them, they're more likely to respond. So when you say, hey, I help people lose weight, help people get in shape, help people get fit, help people get healthy, they're like, oh. So that's number one. Um, another way to, um, you know, to, to naturally have conversations is to just simply, you know, when, when, you peep, when you ask somebody, hey, what's new with you? And they ask you in return, what's new with you? Say, oh yeah, just, uh, you know, been doing this, uh, the side business, you know, I've been, I've been, or, or let's just start with your challenge. Like, Hey, I've been doing, yeah, I've been doing P90X3 and you know, I'm down 30 pounds. I'm really loving it. That right there is going to raise curiosity. And what did you do? You started to share a little bit of your story of your experience, right? And so if they're interested, they're going to say something and then you can continue sharing. I'll give you an example. Um, I went into Massage Envy the other day and this was after coming back from Cancun and believe it or not, or not, I was super sore and yeah, go on vacation, come back sore. But anyway, uh, they were like, well, why'd you come in here today? And I said, oh, I just got back from Cancun. And they were like, oh, really? What were you there for? And I said, oh, I was there. It was part of this uh, coach vacation um, that I earned. And there's like 4,000 of us coaches there. And, and, and I think I mentioned Beachbody and they said, um, they said, Beachbody, what's that? And I said, have you heard of P90X Insanity? like, oh yeah, yeah, of course. And I was like, yeah, I did those programs. I've, I lost 35 pounds and they're like, really? This front receptionist girl, you know, she's like, really? And so it just led to this conversation. Her boyfriend is all into health and fitness. I'm like, oh my gosh. You know, this other girl that, w that came out after her, you know, I shared, yeah, I used to weigh 35 pounds more and you know, I just was tired of being overweight and out of shape and didn't have enough energy. And well, she pulls out her, now she's pulling out her phone. Since I shared part of my story, she's sharing the fact that she lost 90 pounds. She's showing me her pictures. And I'm like, oh, that's amazing. You know, we're just connecting by sharing parts of our story, using a curiosity razor, sharing parts of the story. Now here's the key though, 
is, and I mentioned this at the beginning of the video, the second biggest mistake is people talk too much. Well, you want to put the focus back on them and their goals. So this girl mentioned, yeah, my friend in Florida did P9, uh, did Shakeology and you know, I don't remember which workout, but she said they did Shakeology and she goes, but, and I knew she was headed towards an objection, right? Like about price or whatever. So I just said, I kind of interrupted. I just said, well, what are your goals? And she was like, well, I've lost 90 pounds and you know, I just want to lose maybe 20 more. But my biggest thing is I just want to be healthy from the inside because people in my family have diabetes. So we got to talking about her goals. And then I said, well, now I, now I knew what to share about Shakeology, right? So I said, well, you know, that's what Shakeology is all about. It's all about getting healthy from the inside. You know, it's nine servings of fruits and vegetables. It's all your daily vitamins and minerals, your probiotics. You know, and there's people on, I know people that uh, are diabetics that use it and love it. So, um, and she's like, oh really, that's great. And I said, yeah, I've got a challenge coming up. I'm gonna be starting a new 21 day challenge hosting it. If you're interested in that, I could get you some information. Yeah, yeah, I said, so let me get your uh, Facebook information, let's get connected, right? So there's a conversation, it went from curiosity razor, sharing a bit of my story, connecting, asking about her goals, sharing some information about our products that would help with her goals, telling her about an upcoming challenge, asking for contact information. Done. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful to you, how to raise curiosity and how to share your story and how to just have more conversations. That's the key. Have more conversations on a daily basis. All right, if this was helpful to you, leave a comment and I will see you in the next video.